Soldiers past and present are remembered in the Scottish Parliament with the unveiling of two powerful and symbolic art installations reflecting the impact of war. The works Unknown and France 1914 mark the parliamentary launch of the 2014 Scottish Poppy Appeal Campaign run by the charity Poppy Scotland, the only charity the Parliament supports. Presiding Officer Tricia Marwick explained the importance of these to the Parliament. The Scottish Parliament is open to everybody and what we do hope is that people will come in and see the display that we have put on in the Scottish Parliament um, as our way of remembering those who have lost their lives, not just in the Great War, but in all the wars since then. And I think it will be something that both the MSPs and the visitors to the Parliament will appreciate very much. Unknown by Midlothian artist Alison Kinnaird features an army of glass figures, mainly soldiers representing the fragility of life in war. Each one is someone's son, brother, father or friend. It will be on display until Saturday the 1st of November. France 1914, created by Edinburgh artist Simon Burns Cox, is a six foot tall Italian marble sculpture representing the last tree remaining on a First World War battlefield. A symbol of hope and survival. It will be on display at the Scottish Parliament until the 4th of December and will then go on for a tour of the country for the next four years before being auctioned to raise funds for Poppy Scotland. Well, I, I think what this does is it uses the artist's eye to make a point about, about war. And actually, particularly powerful today is the juxtaposition of a, 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 a piece of remarkable art, a sculpture that looks back to the First World War and one that is much more contemporary in its, in its presentation because that actually shows that war has been around for a long time, its consequences are lasting and, it, uh, and needs addressed, and it's still with us. Uh, that is a fact of life in a dangerous world, so very, very resonant.